All right. Uh, <laughs> we should get coffee first before we do anything. We're gonna do that. All right, that's better. <laughs> so, uh, we get a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions here about stuff. About, about stuff about freestyle, and since I've been freestyling for a while, I, it's kind of my responsibility on this channel to share all this knowledge and experience and expertise with you. Not that I have that much, honestly. But one thing that I think people have a ton of trouble with when it comes to freestyle skateboards specifically are these things called skid plates. Skid plates are a huge part of freestyle as I drop them. I've, I've talked about it in a previous video, but um, whether you're getting into freestyle and you're a newbie or an experienced freestyler who's been doing it for years, two things that I suggest everybody uses are skid plates and freestyle wheels. Now, now skids protect your tail. They, they keep you from getting razor tail, and if you've had experience with razor tail, if you get that on your board, and then you try to pogo, it just annihilates your board. It just chips so fast. So having these, if you want to do like truck tricks or footwork tricks, is essential in my opinion. So I wanna to talk to you today about how to set them up, how to get them onto your board and installed properly, straight, and good to go. So to get started, you're gonna to want to gather your ingredients, your supplies for this mission. First, of course, you're going to need skid plates. Whether they're nose skids or tail skids, that's up to you and your setup. Um, Waltz, Freestyle skateboarding, it's my company, we make skid plates, but it doesn't really matter where you get them from. We make a nose skid that fits all of our freestyle nose shapes and a tail skid that covers all of our tail shapes. The nose skids also work for really any street setup. You'll need skid hardware. You will need either tape, or if you're a real pro like me, you can use these clamps. You will need a nail or something sharp and very narrow. A power drill, got my little, craftsman corded power drill here. It uh, doesn't really matter too much what you use, but I like corded ones because I always forget to charge my batteries. You'll need a small bit for drilling a pilot hole. This is a 1 8 inch drill bit and a full sized 7 30 seconds inch bit. It's a little bit bigger. So to start this little project, you're going to want to tape, or if you're like me, use the clamps to clamp your skid plate onto your board. Now this is the most important part of the whole project because you're going to want to make sure your skid plate is aligned with the edge of your board. I personally like to have my skids placed a few millimeters in from the edge of the nose and tail because I tend to do a lot of pogo tricks, a lot of tricks where I'm pounding on the nose and tail and you don't want to be pogoing on the skid plate when you're doing those tricks. So once you have the skid plate in a good spot, take the nail that we mentioned earlier, place it in the holes and give it a nice whack to just mark right where the centers of those hardware holes are. Now when you remove the skid plate, you should have two little indents where you marked with the nail. Pretty easy from here, you'll just take your drill, load it up with that pilot bit, drill a hole and try to make sure that you're aiming directly down, not at like a 45 degree angle or some crazy angle, just straight down with the drill. Now once you have the pilot hole drilled, you'll take your 7 30 seconds inch bit and you'll just drill right through those pilots, just widening the hole. Now with that hole drilled, you should have enough clearance for the slotted portion of your skid hardware. This will go in through the top, that's the grip tape side of the deck, and you can screw in the machine screws through the bottom of the board. Once the skid plate's on, you're gonna want to eyeball it, check to make sure that everything's straight. If you haven't drilled your skids completely, perfectly straight, there is sort of a trick to go in and, and kind of gouge out the holes uh, for your skid plates so that you can kind of adjust them a little bit more. That's not ideal though. You don't really want to have to, to modify your holes much once you've got them drilled. So always check, double check, and triple check your uh, indents, your marks, before you drill your skid holes. But yeah, now you've got skid plates, you can go out and just jam around, do some pogos, do some tail drags, I don't know, people do that, right? Just enjoy having protection on the ends of your nose and tail that allow you to do a lot more tricks. I really love our skid plates at Waltz because we've made quarter inch skids. Um, a lot of skid plates on the market are a lot thicker. I like to feel like I'm almost skating on my board, like without any plastic. So having a low profile piece, something that doesn't really feel really clunky and chunky and heavy under you, uh, is nice for me. In addition to providing protection, they also just slide better in my opinion. So when I'm doing spacewalks and all kinds of tricks like that, having the board not really resist my my swings, that's really nice for me too. So, so give them a try. If you have some at home, let us know what you think. Uh, if you're considering getting them, let us know why you might be considering them. And if you have any other questions, need any more help getting them set up, 
let me know. Always down to help. We're stoked that we've had so many people getting on board with freestyle since we've made this channel and since Daniel and I have made Waltz. Right now we're reaching a ton of new people out there and we're able to like bring this idea of freestyle skateboarding to a whole new crew, which is uh, is crazy. Yeah, meeting all of you, whether it's in person or online, finding you on Instagram and being able to share tricks and ideas and see what you're making has been crazy cool. So uh, keep making stuff, keep dancing, and um, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna go skateboard, actually, now that I have this skin plate set up. All right, later y'all.